Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. My name is Amir Shahzad and today again I'm with the Laika TS09 Plus. Today I'm going with a very, very important lesson which we call offset in a plan. First I will explain what is plan and how we can make offset in a plan. First everything this one I will explain on the paper and then I will go to total station. But first I have a request please watch this video until end so you have to clear this concept what is plan and how we can make offset in a plan so let's discuss plan first plan mean plan mean nothing is like a plan area plan mean for example we have uh, some buildings is a taper shape slopey area like for example if i say this is vertical and this is a slope so once I take the, for example, one, two or three points and these are a maybe different level. This point have a different level, this different, this different. And based on these three coordinate plus elevation, total station create a one plane. That plane will reference on the offset. Why we need this plan and why we use this offset option first. For example, I have a, some slopey area and in this slope, I need to mark maybe in the middle some point. But this point, this point and that point have a different elevation. How I know this point elevation? Okay, I can say for example, I need to go from this point 100 meter or whatever maybe 2 meter or 3 meter and those then I need to go this direction any values for example 5 meter I can measure this values but how I can know this point is vertically matching with this plan for example sometime outside the building they need to make a slope some for the glasses or some any things that one we points called offset in a plan so in this video, I will, I'm going to explain these things. Uh, first, I have a plan to make some uh, two examples. One, I will make equally levels. And second, I will uh, make a variation levels. So please watch this video until end. Before, if you have any question after watching this one, I can explain in the next videos. So first of all, before I go to total station, I have a request. The person who still not subscribed my channel, please subscribe first and hit the bell icon and hit on the all notification there you get the all my video notification once i upload on the youtube so let's come on the total station so here i have the total station tr09 plus and here is my first display once i power on the total station so first i need to go to program simply i press on the program and then i go to the survey plus that is our topic uh, in the Kogo, I need to uh, enter, I can use these arrow keys, I can go through these arrow keys, I can press the number 5 from the keyboard or touch. Once I enter in the Kogo, then I need to press continue. Here is the description of Kogo, what is going in this uh, lessons. So, first is, uh, nowadays we are talking about the third uh, tab, which is offset. So I change my page or tab using by this page key. One, two, and third page is the offset page. So first option is the distance from the offset. This we already discussed in the second last video. And this is set uh, point. That one we discussed in the last video. And here is the third and the last option in offset that called is plan. First, you see they are writing the point and its height. Be uh, noted that things. Point, point means north and east and its height. And offset relating to the plan. And offset point are calculated. You may, you can understand, for example, there this land is uh, not uh, equal or maybe equal. Based on that, a total station automatically create this plan based on their coordinate and the elevation. It's equal or not equal, it's automatically uh, total station create this plan and based on that one we stake out our offset included height. So I'll press F4 for the continue. 
so today i put some new values first i will use the same levels and second example i will use the different elevation for example i put the uh, like 41 number id and then i press f3 for the find i don't have this one so i'll give the values so i'll press f4 for enhs i'll say this 100 east 100 north and i can say that elevation is also 100 so these things we have to put in our mind what we are going now so in first example i keep these three points elevation is 100 but the next example i will keep the variation elevation so simply i'll press ok and then continue the second point id i'll put it here uh, 42 number sorry then find there is no 42 so i'll add the values so i can say this is the east is 200 north is 100 and the elevation is 100 okay then continue i'll put the next id is 43 press okay find there is no values so i'll put the values values are i say north and east are 200 both are same and the elevation is also 100 i'll press ok no he asked me the offset point for example i take the value i will put first value i give first id the id my id is 44 and then I go for the 40, uh, sorry, find a 4. And then once I check this point, be remember, this point, once I check, we have an option. I go back, measure. Measure mean once we measure from the site, that value automatically come here. Or if we have the value, we add the value. Mostly when we are going for the marking site, we always measure to get until our required value. So what I do, find, I give the values. For example, I say this is 150 east and 150 north and the elevation. Be remember, last three R values we put 100, it's mean our plan is equally. So I'll put the required point what i find out there i say this is 101 and then i'll press ok then continue and now i go with the calculate option here you can find the i uh, what we have the required east north value and the height what he said 100 but we need offset in the elevation, one meter offset. If I go to the plot, you can find that is our plan 41, 42, 43, and the middle there have a point. But suppose this is 100, when we set the instrument, that is a 200, it should be a match in the middle. It should be match, but no match because due to this elevation variation so that's why if it go down one meter it will get the same point line so we need one meter okay so hopefully you answer i uh, understand this uh, first example i go with the second example simply i go escape and terminate these options here i go to use again 41 yeah sorry uh, i'll change the value okay 41 i keep 100 42 sorry find i go enh i'll give the values easting 200 same plan and uh, okay nothing also 100 but this time i go with the 101 press and override this one because that one existing we have already this point 
So I'll give the value of point number three, that is the 43 number ID. I find, and then I'll add the new values. Easting 200, northing 200, height, I'll say 102, and okay, and then continue. Then overwrite, yes. So here I have the plan, the plan coordinate are same with the previously values, but the height are changed now. And this time I go with the 45 number point. I go with the last time I we put 44. I'll write the 44 and find. Here you can find the values of the 44. You can see 150, 150 is north and east, and the elevation is 101. Then I'll press F4 for continue, continue. And then I will go, I'll go with the option calculate. You can see the result are showing here east, north, same height before we have a 100, but this time he show 101. And the offset required zero. But last videos, what we what happened is give us a one meter offset. The reason calculate by total station automatically that values that point we need one meter offset and we get it the one meter offset here. So if we don't match the offset over the required offset, that case the value will come here. But in this case, we have the automatically calculated value of levels he give us the properly points hopefully you get the answer of this question uh, this topic if you have any confusion related to my this video or any other video you can ask me in comments and uh, take care of yourself and bye